So James, how do you identify bad habits? I think bad habits, I guess like good habits, can just kind of creep in, can't they? I certainly noticed that myself. Sometimes it can be something that just knocks you off course, knocks you off track. From November up until March, I'd stopped drinking. I'd stopped drinking alcohol. I'd, it had a massive impact on my life for the better. I was fitter. Um, you know, Monday mornings I was razor sharp rather than that Monday morning when you're thinking, "Girl, oh, you know, when's four o'clock? When's five o'clock?" But, but those bad habits can creep back in again. So over lockdown, I found I'd had the odd beer. The odd beer then turned into two beers. Then suddenly I was, I was you know, having 10. So I think bad habits, like good habits, can, can, can creep in. I think that the best way to, to manage them is to keep a keep doing list. So you've heard of people have a to-do list. To-do list is great, organize what you've got to do for the day. It's really, really good to have a start doing list of new habits that you want to bring in, a stop doing list of habits that you want to get rid of, but most important is a keep doing list. A keep doing list is a list of things that have a good impact on you. It might be having a healthy shake in the morning or a healthy ginger shot or, um, or not drinking any alcohol or getting out and going for a run. It, it's having a list of things that just work well for you. It's a list of things that fit well into your routine. And if you've got them written down, when bad habits or if bad habits or if something comes in to knock you off track a little bit, it's very easy to go, right, okay, here's my keep doing list. This is the stuff that has a good effect on me. Let's get rocking and rolling again. So I find that that's the best way of, of blocking them out. Please do subscribe, hit the button.